So you've decided to come to United States and whether it is spring semester or fall semester, you're probably wondering, uh, is work experience necessary? Should you get work experience? And I know this because you have commented on my videos. You have sent me a lot of DMs that, hey, Yuri, my seniors are telling me, my alumni are telling me that you should not come to United States. Market is really bad and you should come after you have some work experience. So what is the reality? Should you really get work experience before you coming to United States? And that is the answer that I'm going to try to give you in this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Yudi and I was an international student just like you. And right now I'm a senior product manager for a fintech startup company. And on this channel, we talk about everything related to coming to United States for your education for bachelor's or master's, building a successful career. Okay, so let's understand why are people telling you that you should get experience. So job market is really bad and it's actually not bad. There are a lot of openings right now. The problem is there is a lot more supply than demand. Demand there is there, but the supply has increased a lot. Plus, there were a lot of people in 2023, they were all laid off. Uh, in 2024 also, there were layoffs happening. So because of those, there's a lot of supply available uh, for fulfilling the available jobs, which is less. And so that is why there is this problem. So number one is that. Now, when people say experience, I want to give you two perspectives. One who comes with experience, one who doesn't come with experience. And I'm giving you a hiring manager perspective. I've been hiring for last six years. I've hired engineers, data analysts, and program managers, project managers, so and product managers. So I know how it all works. Here is the perspective. If you have experience, I think what your alumni and your seniors are saying, it's not just the paper. On paper, having a work experience, it's not going to guarantee you internship or a full-time job because I know people who have three plus, four plus years of experience, five plus years of experience and still struggling to crack an internship or a full-time job offer. On the flip side, I know people who don't have any work experience, any corporate experience and yet being able to crack internships and full-time job offer. How is this even possible? The same market, but two different profiles. Here's the difference. It is not the work experience, it's the holistic approach to your job search and internship strategy. And that is one of the things that I teach in my ultimate course and LinkedIn course. But my point is that if you just are getting a work experience so that you have a work experience on paper, that is not going to cut it. Like you have to now, the competition and the bar is so high. Imagine the students who are graduate, who graduated in 2024, they are competing with the people who worked in Facebook, Tesla, Walmart, all these companies who did the layoff, they're competing with these people. So the bar is really high. So your experience in India, just for namesake or having like on paper work experience is not going to help you. But the opposite, let me put you like a contrasting view. It is important for you to have work experience. Why? Because it will help you build the skills. That is when you will be able to compete with the people who are in your peer and who are in your cohort, who are your students along with all the batch that you are coming with and the batch before you. Because once you have a crystal clear clarity of where you are heading towards, what skills are required, I have those skills, I've actually implemented those skills, I've built those skills, that is when the work experience does matter. Just having it on paper is not going to cut it. So what are these students who don't have work experience are able to get it and why are these people who have work experience don't get it? One, they start extremely early. Uh, they don't start after they land. In fact, I was just talking to a student who landed 20, 25 days and I, he was showing me his resume. He's part of my course community and I was like, why is your resume like this? You know exactly how to build resume because I've taught you in the, in the course. And he said, yeah, I was just like, you know, hanging out and I'm partying and like the focus was not there. This is the differentiator with the people. Now I was talking on the flip side with someone who's from Purdue and Dartmouth 
everyone is working hard to get that internship sir in fact some of the people who just landed within 10 days they have internship interview lined up you see the contrasting like it's polar opposite how it is because they start early they didn't start when they landed they started 2 3 months ago and that is why i recommend to start working on your resume linkedin overall portfolio way before so even if you don't have work experience if you're planning to come in fall 2025 you are way ahead if you're watching this video in august you are way ahead of your peers now is the time for you to actually have a crystal clear clarity that okay i am going to become a business analyst i'm going to become a data analyst or cyber security engineer here i've analyzed 50 plus job description i've talked to 50 plus people who are working in the united states i know these are the skills required i am going to build the skills i'm going to have projects and portfolios already hosted on my website i'll have my resume done i will have my linkedin done now you don't need work experience because you have done every single thing i do want to caveat out that there is a big play of luck as well there are everything that you can do you might be doing it and yet people still struggle and are struggling because there is a black box of like why it's working and why it's not working but i can almost guarantee you that if you do everything i just said and strategically network and all of that you will get it and you don't need to require work experience on the flip side having a work experience will give you a lot more confidence not just because it's on paper but it's also because you have worked in the industry you will have a very good clarity in terms of do i really want to be a software engineer do i really want to be a product manager do i really want to do data analyst now maybe this is the time where you do pivot it or you have worked in it now you want to extra specialize into like visualization or extra specialize into model building for data engineer or you want to extra specialize into product marketing because even in product managers there are like four five core pm and all of that right technical pm so maybe you do want to focus on that side so now you choose the courses based on that you can have the conversation with the recruiters based on that because you have work experience you can talk about it you can quantify some of the things people who have not done anything like don't have an internship don't have any projects don't have any portfolios no volunteer experience you should not come to united states until you do some of this because you are going to compete with lot more stronger profile than yours the profile that, that i just described so you at least have to have some internship at least have to have some projects under your belt some interesting project that are hosted people can use it you have quantified some metrics that okay i've created this project and have 1000 plus free users on it or something like that i mean it doesn't have to be that drastic but you get my point again you have to understand there are two ways to get a job in united states one is cold application where you see a job opening you apply for it second is through a network and referral program now both of them is equally important in fact i would say more important is networking but we're not going to talk about that because i want to focus on cold application that is where the work experience does come in very handy if you have work experience you will put it on your resume and maybe 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 you will get an interview call for people who don't have work experience they don't have they have a blank resume what are they going to put on it and that's why they don't get uh, calls but like i said if you have been doing everything that i've taught you you've watched all the podcasts you are my audience you you should be smart enough you like you've done all your homework get my course right now because this is the time to start working on all of the things i go in so much more detail than this just video but essentially holistic approach on your job search strategy you should have before even you land you should have 50 companies that you want to work for after that you should have 5 to 10 people from each company that you're going to reach out to that's about 250 to 300 people that you're going to reach out to after that 15 to 20 calls already scheduled every single week to talk to and hopefully all of this will convert into it do you see what my point is so having work experience is great you should come with work experience because the competition in the bar is really high but just doing it for the sake of having work experience on your resume and not building a skills you don't know the knowledge you still can't code that is not going to help you so there is your answer if you are genuinely wanting uh, if you are a good student hard working uh, you you are going to be proactive i'm going to go there and will figure it out 
and like if that is not the reason i think you'll be okay if i were you at this point of time i know myself that i am someone who did not have clarity before coming because i started as computer science and pivoted my career into product management so if i'm at your position i would probably try to get more work experience to understand that okay this is not my thing and i want to do in like maybe engineering management instead of computer science because that is my thing and i have two years of experience and i've led team i have been a part of scrum team and all of that uh, so have a clarity if you're someone who don't have that wait don't rush into this decision you're going to take a lot of money once you come here you don't want to be in that spot where you're like you're just scrambling so that is my advice as a elder brother as your mentor i want the best for you so again if you're not someone who is willing to work hard get some work experience don't get work experience just for the sake of it that is my answer i will see you guys in the next one let me know what more questions do you have about this topic or any of the topics that we've been talking about in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next one until then keep smiling keep hustling